everyone. I am your produce guy. Today I'm going to put together some vegetable kebabs. I'm prepping my zucchini right now and um, this zucchini I've cut eh, about a quarter inch to uh, half an inch there, not too thick. I've got some beautiful colored bell peppers, some red onion, and some portobello mushrooms. And we're going to go ahead and put these together. Now I love vegetable kebabs. I love cooking vegetables on the kebab by themselves for a couple of reasons. One is that uh, meat, when you combine meat and vegetables, they cook at different times. In fact, sometimes the meat can cook faster than the vegetables. It's surprising about that. Uh, but that's, uh, that's one reason. You'll get, you'll get dried out meat, you'll have overcooked vegetables, uh, depending on what, you, what you're doing. So I like to separate my vegetables from my meat and I keep more control over things that way. And you don't get any cross-contamination or anything from those. Now, I'm prepping my red onion here, and here's a little tip when you're doing these four kebabs. You can see I've cut the top and the bottom off of the, off of the onion. I'm now going to slice it in half, and then I'm going to take the halves and lay them cut side down and uh, quarter these, and that will create some nice uh, little segments that we can put on our kebab sticks. Now one tip about uh, building kebabs is, it's best if you can cut your ingredients, all the things that are going on the kebab, to about the same size so that they have the same cooking time. So that's one thing to remember as you're putting, uh, put, uh, assembling your ingredients. So I'm starting out with some onion here. I'm going with a uh, portobello mushroom next and then we're just going to alternate our different peppers zucchinis and get this thing going. Now being an old produce guy, we like to, uh, in the department, produce department, you display different colors next to each other for dramatic effect. Well, the same thing is true here. I've tried to put my different colors um, next to each other. So you got a green next to a white, next to a red. Looks like the Italian flag actually. Isn't that fun? All right, now I've got a uh, plastic heavy duty freezer bag here and I'm going to put all my kebabs in there. And then I've just got a, an Italian dressing here, uh, just a favorite little salad dressing. We're going to pour that in there. Just really give that a, a good shot. Another thing about uh, having vegetable only kebabs is once I'm done with the marinade in there, I can actually reuse the dressing, uh, put it on something else if I like, because it has been contaminated with any, any meat products. Now, uh, this bag will go in the fridge for a minimum two hours and up to overnight, uh, occasionally turning it to move that dressing around in there. You know, uh, the idea of Italian dressing, making a fresh one, maybe there's a video uh, we should take a look at. We'll have to do that. That sounds uh, really delicious. I'm going to put these in the fridge and let these marinate, but for our purposes today, I've already got some that are marinated and we're going to go ahead and cook those right now. Now, I love grilling, but around here in January and February, it's too cold to stand outside and turn your kebabs around. Uh, so we are bringing the grilling indoors with our Lodge cast iron grill pan here. Oh, can you hear that? Woo! To prep that cast iron pan, what I did was use some cooking spray. You could also brush some oil on there, but cooking spray sure is easy, so I did that. Also, I've got the pan on medium heat. Your cast iron products, they should max out at medium heat. They won't cook as fast, necessarily, but I found a lot of virtue in cooking slower and allowing things to, uh, the sugars in those vegetables to caramelize, add so much flavor to it. And the cast iron retains so much heat and spreads it out evenly 
that you don't need more than medium. So keep your cast iron at a medium heat. Now these have been on uh, one side about five or six minutes and I've turned them over. I'm going to add just a little more of the dressing here on top. And they're going to be done in just a few minutes. Well here's our finished product and these things look just great. Now you'll note we used uh, wooden skewers here today and you can use them out on the grill as well. Uh, the fire grill. Uh, some people will soak their wooden skewers. I've never really had a problem with uh, the skewers uh, going funny over the fire. So I think you're just fine there. Most of the skewers are tucked inside the vegetables. We've done all vegetables here today, but you can add another element of sweetness to these guys by uh, adding some pineapple. Oh, pineapple goes great on kebabs. So this just looks beautiful here. I'm going to grab one of these portobello mushrooms. It's got a nice little char on it and it's coated in that uh, marinade right there. Oh, beautiful. And delicious. Oh my goodness. Still firm and meaty. Cooked all the way through. Oh, that is wonderful. Kebabs are a great meal. Uh, that you can put together easily and with a cast iron grill pan you can bring the grilling indoors and have it year round. Thanks so much for being with us. I'm your produce guy. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Remember to check us out on Facebook and Google+. We'll see you. Fresh is best. Now let me introduce you to our varieties of eggplant here today. First is our Japanese eggplant. Now this couldn't be any fresher. I just picked it out of the garden about half an hour ago. They're beautiful, dark purple, and nice and firm like they should be right out of the garden. Next is our Thai eggplant.